Hello friends. In this little small series, we are going to be talking about different things that raw vegans, different foods, items that people who are in the raw industry keep in their diets, but they're not really raw. Today we're going to be talking about teas. Teas are not considered to be raw, but this is something that I and many raw food people keep in our diets to help us stay high raw. If you love teas and you want to keep these warm teas in your raw food diet, then it is okay. You are still going to be high raw, just like everybody else on social media. They are high raw, they are, there is no 100% raw person, and don't be hard on yourself, don't beat yourself down thinking, oh, I suck because I have tea or amino acids, coconut amino acid, coconut aminos. <laughs> don't be hard on yourself. You, it's okay to incorporate some things that are not considered to be raw in your diet because everyone, everyone does it. There is no 100% perfect person, and yeah, it doesn't exist. So don't be hard on yourself. Do what you have to do to stay high raw, to stay healthy. Now, if you have, I know that for some things like nutritional yeast or something like that, it irritates certain people, even nuts. Some people are allergic to nuts. If, if these certain things, you know, irritate you or you're allergic to them, of course, disregard them and do not add them to your diet. But if certain things that are not raw, you want to add to your raw diet, then go ahead because no one is 100%. Everyone, me, you, everyone on social media, all the people you see on social media, they're all high raw, not 100% raw. There is no such thing is as 100% raw. So, so do not feel bad for incorporating teas or other non-fully raw products. 